I wonder where the wilder elves found pork and beans in a can. Today I'm making Wilder Elf Venison Bean Pot from Tika's cookbook in Leaves from the Inn of the Last Home. If you've made this recipe, share your thoughts in the comments below. The hardest part about this recipe was finding venison. Not one butcher was able to come through with it for me. So I substituted what I did have. I used one pound ground pork and one pound ground beef. One 15.5 ounce can of pork and beans who sells 16 ounce cans and why am I gypped out of the half ounce? Anyway, one 15 and a half ounce can of kidney beans, one half cup of water, one large yellow onion, diced, one heaping teaspoon fresh parsley, I figured since my wife grows the herbs, I may as well use them, right? One heaping teaspoon of chili seasoning and an estimated amount of salt and pepper. In hindsight, I should have added more salt. I started by chopping the parsley and gathering the correct amount for the recipe. Then I chopped the onion by cutting it in half, scoring and dicing it. The onion didn't affect me nearly as much as the first recipe's onion. Then I moved over to my cast iron pan and began browning the ground pork and beef. In the future, I will stick with one kind of meat, and maybe I could find some venison. After it was browned enough, I added the onions and continued browning. The onions were very juicy, so they added more liquid than expected. I had to wait for that to cook down. I added the rest of the ingredients, the water, pork and beans, kidney beans, chili seasoning, parsley, salt and pepper, and folded them into the meat and onion mixture. Then I set the timer for 30 minutes, put the cover on, and waited. I stirred it up every 10 minutes. Once finished, I dished up a bowl and grated some sharp cheddar cheese over it, then enjoyed it with a slice of homemade bread. This is a decent shortcut chili recipe, but if the time and effort is going to be put into making chili, I'd prefer my wife's barley chili. It's something else. Thank you for tuning in to this Dragonlance recipe episode. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjava.